Okay, so today we're making our first Java tutorial. Um, the first thing we want to do is is basically download something called a SDK. A SDK is basically a software development kit. Um, basically, what it does is um, it basically allows you to actually program or write the code for Java and actually allows you to run it. So. Um, is 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 actually a more advanced version of just basically using uh, DOS. DOS is kind of boring and just like black screen and all these lines of codes. It looks almost like the Matrix or something. <laughs> so um, the Eclipse is actually more fun and more interactive. So the first one we do is we're gonna um, download a SDK called Eclipse. It's a very well known one. So the first thing we do is um, Google and just type in Eclipse. And it should be your first um, your first link. So click on that and go to downloads. And um, uh, so we want to download the Eclipse Classic 3.61. And depending on if you have a 32 bit or 64 bit, you should know that by basically your RAM. If your RAM's 4 gigs or above, then you have a 64 bit computer. If it's uh, 4 gigs or less, then it's going to be a 32 bit. Unfortunately, I have a 32 bit computer. I'll be upgrading soon. So, um, to, yeah, to Intel Core i5 processor. Yeah, beast. So, um, first thing we'll do is go ahead and download that SDK. And it should download as a zip file. And I'll go ahead, I'll show you how to unstrack that. So, let's go ahead and download that. Um, save it. And there we go. So, now we um, have downloaded the Eclipse SDK 3.0. Six one, and now um, we need to extract this folder called Eclipse. So let's go ahead and extract. Um, we're going to extract the whole folder with all the files. Let's go ahead and extract it to the desktop. Takes a little while sometimes. Okay, so now we extracted all the files. Now let's go ahead and X out of this. And let's go ahead and go to our desktop. And now we should have a folder on our desktop called Eclipse. So let's go ahead and click on Eclipse. And let's, um, and now you should see like a blue or a purplish looking moon with a, some stripes to it. So basically, um, just click on that. And basically, there's no installation. Basically, when you extract the files, it basically installs when you extract them. So and basically, um, just click on the Eclipse file, and if you want to actually run it from your desktop, you pretty much need to make right click and you need to make a copy of this of the Eclipse file, and then just paste it to your desktop, and then you can actually run it from there. So let's wait for the Eclipse to open up, and it takes a while for everything to load up and everything. So my workspace. And your workspace is basically where you store all your files and everything you want to, all your programs at. So basically, um, if you want to change your where your workbench is or your work your workspace, you basically just um, in Java you basically just make another workspace folder, and then you can actually configure Java to save your files to that folder. So yeah, pretty cool. A lot of features in Eclipse, but we'll learn how to use them. So there we go. Voila! Now we have Eclipse opened up. Um, and it's our first time with if it's your first time with um with Eclipse, we actually have um the Eclipse Java SDK, and that's how you pretty much download it. Um, our next tutorial basically uh will cover a basic program um of displaying output to the computer and telling the computer what to do, and displaying the output. Okay, so see you next time.